You really should wear some more clothes. Well, you just surprised me today and said we were doing this. I didn't know we were coming back from shooting and doing this, so... I'm not gonna get dirty like you, either. I'm just removing bolts. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys love truck content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below and smash that notification bell so you guys do not miss a YouTube video. Today, we're gonna be doing a really cool install video with the wife and I. We just got back from uh, playing Freedom with our uh, squirt guns, so that was pretty cool. So in some of my previous videos, you guys heard the Wife Max LB7 with the stock downpipe to a four inch straight exhaust. Well, uh, it's backed by a Ryan's Diesel Service 68 millimeter turbo. Uh, but the thing is, is you hear this really annoying like chirp sound. <laughs> So what I'm hoping to do is install this MBRP three inch downpipe and it'll get rid of that. So make sure you stay tuned. I didn't even notice that chirp noise. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> it's almost like that whoosh noise you hear on an LMM or LBZ. It's just, I don't know. It's better to have a three inch downpipe, but not only get rid of the chirp noise, but we want to go ahead and get better EGT. So ex exhaust gas temperatures when we're hauling, we're driving normally, stuff like that. So I think this is a really good option. You guys should consider it too. Um, again, I'm going with the MBRP three inch downpipe. So without further ado, I'm gonna have my wife, she's gonna help me. She's actually gonna re be removing these bolts, which is, to be honest with you, it's gonna Easier be really part. simple. <laughs> the LB7 downpipe, the bolts that are on the back of it, it is so difficult to remove that. A buddy of mine, Jalen, he actually has an LB7. I gave him a call and he was like, dude, you're gonna have to, it took me like six hours. You have to use this like, the, the fan belt um, puller and this and that. And he had all these little tricks. He actually broke the stud off the back of the turbo. I mean, it was just a bad deal for this guy. So the good thing is, is we had this entire engine removed. Um, Kodiak truck, those guys installed the transmission as well as Ryan's shop. We put the engine in there and all that. It was a lot of fun. What I went ahead and did is left some of those bolts back there loose so it's a lot easier. So the wife's gonna go ahead and remove those. Yeah, you get the hard part though. <laughs> It's not fun, guys. Trust me. And so, huge shout out to everybody who's purchased a key tag decal. Sent me pictures. Make sure you guys email me that, or you can send it to my Instagram at truck underscore mastero7. I'll leave that link in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so obviously you're gonna have to remove this inner fender right here in order to get access to the downpipe that's connected right here to the exhaust. Now, this right here is called a V-band clamp. We're gonna go ahead and remove that right now. So once we remove that, we're gonna go ahead and get to the top. We'll go ahead and get the wipes to loosen those here in a second. And then we'll go ahead and remove it right here from the bottom. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and remove this entire downpipe through this side instead of trying to pull it up from the top. Okay, so we'll have the wife remove the bolts are here on the top of the turbo right here. But just as reference, you're gonna have six bolts. Well, actually you're gonna have four bolts and two nuts because you're gonna have two studs that hold this on there. Got it. Nice work. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. Put it with the pile over there. All right. So, like I said, we have a total of six. We have four of we have four of the bolts, and then we have two of these nuts right here. To be completely honest with you, this is my very first time removing. <laughs> and I have the wife doing it. This is my very first time removing an LB7 downpipe with the cab on. So we're gonna go ahead and install this right here. I'll show you guys the differences too and why we're doing this. All right, let's go ahead and get this exhaust moved out of the way. This sucks. I guess these firewall hoses would have to come out in order to get that out. There it goes. Um, can you see where it's dripping? Is it dripping in there? I guess you can tell. It's dripping in the bowl. So most of it is. Some of it's going around it. Alright, whatever, dude. I'll clean the floor. Oh. That's better than <laughs> Let's hope that works. Not that mess <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> I 
awesome. as you guys can see, I removed these two right here just so I can get it over, but I took it from the top instead of the bottom because I was having a heck of a time. Didn't you move the dipstick too? Yeah, I did whatever. That's how I did it. It worked, whatever. I'll pull all that stuff back. This is not a how-to, guys, just to let you know that because I'm not an expert at removing a downpipe on an LB7, but you will end up having to remove the actual downpipe heat shield right here. Uh, it looks like three 10 millimeter bolts. So that does have to come out first by... Okay. So really quickly, let's show you guys the differences. You guys can see the way it's necked. Better transition airflow, as you guys can see. Um, wider mouth, deeper. And of course, right there, it's more restrictive. And then you have a pinch right there and it's really skinny. And of course, this is way wider. It's just gonna flow better. And this will actually, and it's been proven, guys, it's gonna lower your EGTs, your exhaust gas temperature, which is very important, especially when you're hauling a trailer. I'm actually gonna go ahead and install it from the top instead of warming it through the bottom. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, it. it's that like that loud like noise that you know you're set in that noise of relief <laughs> all right hopefully can you get a flashlight no i can see all right so we are completely done with the job bolts on secured everything's nice and tight as you guys can see we have the mbrp downpipe installed with the exhaust everything is good to hook uh of course, the coolant bypass tubes are connected, so nothing's spraying out. Everything's good to go. Let's go ahead and get this thing started up. running for about 15 minutes now right there at engine temperature let's go ahead and uh give her a few revs make sure everything's nice and tight You know, I almost uh, could tell a slight difference when you revved it up with the freeze really? downpipe. Yeah, does it, it sounds deeper. It seems deeper. It does. All right, everything's nice and tight. It's powerful. Let's go ahead and take it down the road. You know, quite honestly, I heard the chirping still. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, let, let me know in the comments below, some of you LB7 owners. I've just, it's my first time experiencing sounds with an LB7. And I think if it's not the exhaust, it's got to be the fueling. It's got to be the CP3, the 10 millimeter CP3 pump, the XRG1. Um, of course, the bigger injectors, and it's not tuned at all. It's stock. Well, if you wouldn't have told me about the chirping, I would have never even noticed it and now i do <laughs> it's kind we of were driving by slowly i could hear it yeah you can hear the i could hear it chirping when you're going slowly by i'm like I'm... but on a good note though it definitely sounds better it definitely sounds better yeah, guys it does sound like a deeper it's a lot deeper yeah so... it sounds it sounds tougher yeah i like it <laughs> <laughs> well one day you and i will be racing in the future I totally win because you're just well, right now I'd probably win, but I know, but even in the future, because I'd probably get all nervous and. Well, we'll, we'll invite uh, her brother out to race me with the wife Max, and then we'll. <laughs> I think we'll have something there. So. Okay, so that is it for this one. Again, thank you so much for subscribing, watching the videos. You guys are absolutely awesome, and thank you so much for your support. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. And thanks for buying all those key tags, the wife Max. We're key almost tags. sold out. I am so excited to see so many wives. Well, I mean, wives, girlfriends, whoever, I mean, 
all these people with Life Max key tags. It's so cool. I just it is I cool. Know, I get so excited about it. There's a know. lot of wives out there that have Duramaxes. I'm pretty yeah, surprised. I wasn't I wasn't really expecting awesome. that. I wasn't either. That's why we I mean we didn't have very much, so we're probably gonna have to get some or more. Or some more we don't I think I have like ten left actually. So Well get them while you can. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.